What's up everyone and welcome to our channel. Today we're going to be reacting to Frankie Boyle. I'm Tan Tan. And I'm Victoria. Yes, so more Frankie Boyle. Um, uh, reacting to Michael Jackson's Children's Hospital. Big Michael Jackson fan, however, I'm not an oblivious Michael Jackson fan. I, I, he had his faults. I personally think, even though his name has been cleared recently, I personally think his, his interactions with children was always an appropriate person. And, uh, you know, like I said, I have listened to the likes of Dave Chappelle and Cat Williams. Cat Williams particularly has a very famous uh, bit on Michael Jackson, you know, uh, going at him and like Chris Rock as well. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm quite, I find Michael Jackson jokes to be a uh, quite hilarious personally. But, uh, yeah, let's see I what Frankie Boy has to say. I don't know what to make of it. I don't know. It's a bit of a weird one. I, I just find it weird laughing at, not at or laughing about people who can no longer defend themselves. I just feel like, I don't know, it's just a bit of a, it's a great area for me. If I think the joke is hilarious, I will laugh. But just in general, I wouldn't seek out jokes like that just because it's like the person isn't here to defend themselves. So, yeah. We'll see yeah. what he has to say. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Thriller on the stereo during the trial about exhuming Jackson's body to do tests on it. See if they'd done it, I was going to watch it on the news with the volume turned down and Thriller on the stereo. <laughs> Played a tape of Jackson's voice under sedation, show how many drugs this guy was giving him. And he's going, I'm gonna build a children's hospital. The biggest children's hospital in the world. He does not sound like Call that. Call it Michael Jackson's children's hospital. I don't even think it was his voice. I think it was the voice of the paedophile demon that controlled his soul. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna build a children's hospital. I'm gonna buy those kids a game of whack a mole. Or I'm gonna lie under the game of whack a mole. I knew that was a good thing. I'm gonna do it. So I'm not buying it away with a little harness. They're actually buying it my car. I'm gonna go to Jackson's children's hospital. Oh, God. up as a surgeon. I'm going to do operations on him. Put little cocks and little clitorises into the palms of their hands. <laughs> hands with them. I'm actually abusing the little motherfuckers. Because I didn't want to find it funny, but like I feel like he's he's done better. Yeah. I think the first video we watched was properly funny. <sighs> something I wanted to, to say about it, it, it reminded me of something. Um, uh, I just keep talking, it'll come back to me. But yeah, what do you think generally? It was okay, like I said, I didn't find it that funny. I could tell that the audience was a bit uncomfortable. This is what I mean, like, should we laugh? But I feel like some of them probably didn't find it funny as well, like that lady. The first lady um, that was shown, she did not find it funny. But mm. yeah, it was, it was just okay. It was a bit like, ooh. Yeah, what, what do you guys think? Let me know. What did, what do I want to say about it? I can't, there was something I didn't want to 
fucked up. That's it. I just want to ask you guys, would you trust Michael Jackson's hospital? Would you trust anything really made by a celebrity, any sort of establishment, whether it's a school, a hospital, anything like that? Would you trust it? Because if you're in the know, Oprah has some schools in South Africa now, and there was a bunch of rape allegations there that happened about the, about the children that just were never addressed. And people look at Oprah as this nice... Do you think, would you say they weren't addressed publicly? Uh, they were hidden under, like it was hidden to try and protect the school. And I think because she obviously owns the thing, it'll likely link up back to her. So I think it was all covered up. Um, simply just to not make her look bad. So the likes of the concept of a Michael Jackson children's hospital person just wouldn't sit right with me. I think the concept of this, I, I don't understand why a celebrity would create something like a hospital just to put their name on it. Surely they'd want it to be a separate entity from themselves. And unless they have like a serious scientific backing, then no, because otherwise it's just the madhouse, really. Mm. And it would just be weird. Michael would strike me as the guy who would actually make Michael Jackson's children's hospital. But how involved would he actually be? I don't think he knows anything about doing exactly. that. But... I feel like, you remember when, sorry, this is a, just, um, <laughs> I'm going off topic now. I remember when Kanye was like, what does Gaga know about Polo? It's just, it's just, and they just attach their name to these things. Yeah. And then the thing it's like, what the fuck does Gaga know? <laughs> so, yeah. Well, yeah, it's been Frankie Boyle on MJ. Yeah, more Frankie Boyle clips if you want us to react to them. I think uh, we've got some more stand up clips generally coming your way, so be on the lookout for them. See you, <laughs> See you next time.